I'm being honest, I have zero faith in the audience. I assume audiences are all incredibly unfunny and incredibly dumb. Mm -hmm. And I have to, I spell out every joke because there's nothing worth, worse than having a great idea and then them not getting it. So you got to make them understand it, you know? So I say it over and over a million times and I just keep trying to simplify, simplify, simplify and take out everything you don't need and shorten it up because I, I also have no faith in people's attention span. Mm -hmm. So it's just years of hammering it through like a, a funny filter or a, a simple filter. You got to drop them. Greg Giraldo said you got to kill your babies. It's hard, but I've seen comics in New York doing the same bit and it bombs every goddamn time and they keep doing it. And it makes you look worse. And it also makes you look crazy. Like you're going, what are you trying to get out of this bit? It never has worked once. Get rid of it. But I know it's hard. We're so attached and we took the time to write it. So it's so hard to let it go. But if you truly believe in it, I would put it aside. As I said, fall out of love with it or become a better writer over time and then revisit it. And you can really look at it from a clear eye and go, that's what I was missing. That's it. I missed that one little angle and that changed the whole bit. So if you really believe in it, put it in the drawer come back in a year. I almost have to tweak those to perfection in your apartment before you can actually get a laugh at it. The joke has to be pitch perfect before it'll work because the subject matter is so edgy. How do you get it right in your apartment alone without an audience? Because you, I still bombed with it. You got to just suck it up and bomb with it uh -huh. and just get little bits of information from the audience every time it bombs. Like, all right, it did a little better if I say it that way. If I say it faster, it does better. Or if I just lean into it, it got a little bit better. And then over time, just with those little clues, I could get it to work 100%. But it took a lot of trial and error of just guinea pigging that bit over and over. Let me try it a little this way. Let me try it that way. Let me try that. And it took forever, but I finally got it. I asked everybody when I was starting out because I was like, what the hell is your voice? What is that? Why is why has everybody found theirs and not, I haven't found mine? And... Somebody told me, I forgot who, but somebody gave me the great advice is look at all your jokes that work and find the common link between all those jokes. And that's probably your voice. Why do you keep going back to these? Why is this subject matter touched on a lot? Why is this like this? Why'd you pick that material, whatever it is? And that helped me. And listening to yourself and you go, oh, that's a that's a joke I would tell. Or you listen to your friends and go, that's such a Mark joke. That's a, And you're like, really? And then you go, okay, so what the hell's Mark? What the hell's that? You know, and just, it's all about clues and, and remembering everything. Take it all in. So for me, I figured out eventually that my shtick is, it's basically saying, if this is like that, then why isn't this like that? And that's my whole act. Yeah. Nice. I don't see color. Well, then I'm black. No, you're not. Aha. <laughs> you know, just by inconsistencies. I mean, even David Tell, who's like the funniest guy on the planet, who's got midget jokes and jizz, his, he's got clean. He can write clean. He can do it. So I think it's imperative if you want to do Fallon, you want to do all these late nights, you got to have it. So it's a good way to get in the door. I'm not saying it's you. I'm not saying it's your voice or your path for the for forever. But I think it's good to have and fuck it, suck it up and, and try to make it work. Like, let's say you're an amazing wrestler and you want to do the MMA. You got to learn boxing. You got to mm. box a little. So have it in your corner. You know, I'm not saying it's got to be your future career. Uh, what, what's the opposite of temporary? Permanent. Thank you. It's not your permanent world, but try it. Knock it out. And it, it's harder. It is harder. I will say, as, as a comic, I can admit, clean is harder. Dirty is easier. I'm not saying dirty's bad. I'm not saying dirty's hack. But it's easier because sex will get a laugh. Cursing will get a laugh. So challenge yourself by trying to write some clean. Yeah, and if you didn't have clean, you wouldn't be able to open for uh, Seinfeld. Exactly, okay. exactly. And I trust me, I had to sift through albums of stuff mm -hmm. to find the cleanest shit that's like his level clean. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I had it. If you're serious about becoming a comedian, join our Facebook group linked in the description below to start getting tips like these every single day and watch this playlist of our top writing tips to improve your writing today.